This is my winning entrance into the uh, layer one badge hacking contest. And basically what we've done is we've taken this uh, badge and made it into a Morse code beacon, beacon transmitter basically. So you can see that it's running right now. Pretty much, you find something to point with. All that I really did was one cut and one jump. I cut power to the, cut that trace right there and I added the wire right there. Basically from here down it's an Arduino and from here up it's a cheapy Chinese remote control toy car controller. And uh, right now it's sending. Let me, uh, let me mess with this camera a little bit. Oh, wrong way. So we can see that we've got a is explain why I couldn't um, simply key the transmitter with the remote control control. As you can see, the buttons for the remote control go right into the Arduino output pins. And I thought, wouldn't it be easy just to key that one pin? Well, it didn't work that way. Let me explain why. I'm gonna turn this thing off because you know its battery is about shot anyway from the convention. If I use the actual remote control, I wasn't in the remote there. It's frequency shift keyed, and it also is on for a long duration. If I do a quick little burst, yeah, it sounds like asteroids, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not gonna basically do any more code with that. I can shoot aliens with it. So what we have here, actually let me change the mode on the receiver here to FM. And seven dot one four five. Close enough. So now we're listening in FM. Oh, the button's stuck. Chinese quality, gotta love it. So now you can see that we could actually be transmitting some information there. So that's the difference in, in modulation techniques between the stock transmitter, you get a part in the airplane going by, and the uh, basically single oscillator keying of the, uh, the beacon circuit. Alrighty, hello again. We're looking at the uh, layer one <laughs> radio beacon badge on the HP 8924C, which for all intents and purposes is a spectrum analyzer. You can see the spectrum supply. It, it's a really slow response, so we're only seeing a few dits. Uh, right now it's set for uh, FM demodulation. So you can only really hear the quieting when the carrier kicks in. And um, you, you see when it does do a trace, it's, it's a little nice little narrow, compact signal. So let me shut this thing off. And let me turn the squelch up on the 8924 to quiet it down. And if I come in with the stock controller... Oh, yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Much wider signal, much stronger signal, because we're driving both Both, uh, both transistors in the circuit. And let me turn that up. We're a little bit off frequency too. Just by a bit. Definitely a lot more information in there than just basically the uh, Morse code uh, Dits and daws there. So there you have it, the differences in modulation.